Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22 here on Silver Run Forest, the Platinum Edition. Folks, it's been a while and I am sorry. Um, for those that's just coming in, uh, I started this off last year, or in game last year. And uh, there's been some changes uh, due to mod conflicts and stuff like that. It crashed my whole game. Um, and for those that uh, been following me and stuff for a little while, y'all know that I'm going to throw this picture up here. This is what the sheep farm looked like and stuff, and we'll see that here in a minute. Um, right now, I am more, more established than what I was in the past, put it that way. We got a contract here. I think this is two contracts on one. Oh, it would save. All right. Uh, yes, as you can see here, I got one, field one fertilizing. It's done. We had to lease the equipment. Didn't have to, but I uh, figured it'd be better. Then we got two active tree uh, transports. Field, uh, farmland 11, farmland 21. So we're fixing to get them knocked out of the way. And while I'm going there, I'm going to do some explaining to y'all. <clears throat> one I was out for a while with uh, toe surgery I got my toe chopped off my big left toe to be more precise precise I can't talk right yeah all y'all old old people out there not old people but my old followers no I can't talk right I can't act right <laughs> especially Chris and Dan they know I don't act right I got a lot of new followers and I want to thank y'all first of all um, I was running this I can't remember what episode this is to save my life folks and I'm sorry but uh, you know, at least 20 episodes almost 30 maybe and y'all will see some lag here and y'all will see some equipment and something like where would that come from Mr. Blue but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill y'all in but welcome back folks to Silver Run Forest. Your host with not the most, aka Tommy Miller, Mr. Blue Vlogs. Or Mr. Blue Farms. Um Yeah, there's uh, as you can see over there we have a couple of buildings that we didn't have in that previous uh I don't know what to call it, uh, before the crash. And y'all will see that picture, or should have done seen it. Let's see, I'll take the straps off. Makes it a lot better. Don't have a clicking sound. But uh, tactic gamer. I'm sorry, I don't have it pulled up right now. But here in a minute, I'll have it inserted. Uh, he left a comment like, uh, "What what we do? We what happened to the silver run? Uh, we're on another map now." As you can. See, probably where I started Edgewater Canada and yeah uh, that will go on this in here is probably going to take some time because this episode I'm just going to be explaining a lot of stuff we got to sell a lot of stuff uh, but now I have four logging trailers uh, these two here are well it don't matter what's what uh, Two's for contracts and other two's for just keeping wood on it. Um, yeah, but look here, folks. Uh, this might be our new thumbnail right here. This, uh, I put this fence up, and as you can see on around, we got a cliff in the background there. Bunch of new buildings. This used to be our grass field. Uh, picture you're looking at now. Uh, hang on, let me get over here so y'all can see it. I really need to be in fly mode to make this happen. Let me go fly mode real quick. And see, turn that on, turn that on, and voila. All right, we're gonna compare the two pictures. What you're looking at now is before, and what you're looking at now is after. Um. We have a shed type, bale storage, 
uh, thing over there this is all storage right here for tractors uh, you can see our grassland up on the hill here and uh, this uh, lighter green I guess you can say down through here should be wheat and anywhere where it's darker is grass and we got a grass field over there which we'll be doing that in the next episode uh, our chickens are still the same our bridge is still the same from our tractors and stuff has uh, changed the water tank ain't here no more um, we got a trailer here for storage for the eggs uh, whenever they get a full pallet we do have the old spur but back here it used to be a mountain and some trees and uh, we're going to just say we had a contractor come in build us a road up and around and took all this out and that's how we got the money to buy this uh, cow farm here it's automated I guess that's the right word for it which means that there's a robot that comes out here somewhere is it on this side yeah it's on this side there's a little robot thing there it comes out feeds the cows uh, we got mineral feed uh, silage straw and hay and there's your totals bottom right there uh, yeah doing this landscaping here we're going to say paid for this this building here and uh, these storage areas here which is hay straw and silage um, all this here is grass but that's this a, a different area that was grown but it goes all the way down to there we got a gravel truck sitting right down there we need to empty um, bring it down I did uh, or I do have uh, an object hider so you see these logs here there used to be a row going through here and a row going right here and another one there I took those out so we can have parking places for the uh, trailers and stuff but our sheeps are doing fine we got a lot more I'm fixing to show that oh, whoa, wrong way and as you can see right here we have eight round bales of hay which is 40,500 liters uh, one pallet liquid fertilizer and one pallet herbicide and uh, that's them back there we can't go in here or can we we're gonna take fly mode off now y'all seen what I want to show y'all on that so that's all that's off see we can't go in even right here it won't let us go past that point uh, the pallets decorations it goes all the way over here you go you can see the X right there as far as you can go you can't go in that area because it's, it's all storage <clears throat> which I'm probably going to take these hay bales out put them over in that storage and just use this for pallets and stuff liquid fertilizer seeds stuff like that oh uh, we still have this thing this planter is going to be new to y'all, I think, uh, which is dirty, needs a wash. Uh, it was little bitty small ones I had before uh, up on that. And here's our rock picker upper. Uh, it works real good. Um, come on over here. I'll show y'all the sheep and stuff in a little bit. These soda spells, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to right now. Uh, they might get sold and might not. While that's opening, we have our tractor and a bat wing mower now. I don't know if we had that before, but our wind roller, our baler, which is a round bell, we can make sillage, uh, our uh, da -da -da, soil sampler, and a bucket and stuff for our tractor. Uh, chickens are doing good um, show y'all in here we do have the water trailer still uh, about where we are uh, I bought all the animals be right back
All right, that was a quick second. Uh, my cousin just called me and asked if we had anything. It was a fire call or anything. Uh, if y'all watching this, I think it's the uh, February the 24th, and a day or two ago, AT&T had a major glitch in the system with no service. I'm on Verizon. Uh, I didn't get anything with it, but I, my phone's been acting sluggish on text messages. All right, here's the same tractor we had before, uh, the Case Special Edition 400T. Uh, we got a frame loader for it. Uh, one thing I like about this building, it's got some pretty good storage. We can bring a couple of pallets of stuff in here if we wanted to. Uh, but folks, yeah, right here, this is 200,000 liters of wood chips. Um, I think it's Edgewater. Uh, I might be a spoiler work, but you might see some of these in there. Uh, but we got two, four, six thousand liters of uh, wood chips. We're gonna shut this door back. Um, I think that's gonna wrap it up with these. Uh, I'm gonna go in and show y'all the animals now. Oh, I think gloves. Since we're in here, we're gonna go ahead. Um, oh yeah show y'all the fertilizer let's see tree transport we're gonna go ahead and collect and collect and uh, yeah 10,450 and 4,950 yeah here's the contract we was doing this is not our setup it's not our setup uh, but we was running this tractor for the dude that owns this field um, also we put down a slurry which he was furnishing and let's go in here and let's see here uh, collect all right and that was six thousand fifty five dollars it could have been seven thousand and something but th this is uh i don't know why okay i guess because uh but this is still freshly it's cotton I don't know if I want it or not um, so yeah that's uh, going this uh, this tractors new I think to y'all it's the New Holland um, well, the New Holland T7 uh, 315 I got the skinny wheels on it. Yeah, it's a little laggy. Now this thing here, I guess it stays running. Uh, yeah, it's uh, going over. Wait, do I see? Can I see that cable? Oh, it's nope. Oh, right there. Y'all can see the cable. It's running straight over there. We got some land over there. Let's see. Let me go in here and. Uh, well, let me go ahead and show you the animals. Here's our cows. Um, we have 10 cows here, and you can see how they're doing. We need to get some feed and stuff. Well, I need an other mod that tells me how much they consume a day. But uh, we got some straw, slurry we got from them, and our sheeps here. Um, I guess they went ahead and had some babies because uh, you can see some that's 16 months and some that's two months so but it looks like we have let's see here two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen and I think I only bought eight uh, so yeah and our chickens they look at our chickens this is now I bought these um, in the last uh, before the crash I should say I only bought like a hundred chickens and since I've been playing for a year they done as you can see five months three months 14 months and we just had a hundred of them that's one month old so they are multiplying, and we need to hurry up and get the wheat done, because that they, they they are going. Okay, um, and this is you can see I got two million dollars, almost three million dollars, in assets right now. But 
we're going to show that here in a second. Um, as you can see, we're April the 1st. It's going to be a while before we harvest our wheat. One, two, be about three months away. And uh, that's not what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. Um, I think I bought that before the crash. But before the crash, I just had this right here and this and this and 41, 42, 36, and a couple of these right here. So I bought all of these right here. And that is a pot of water, so I didn't buy that. Um, also, I have these two up here, five, and this area here. Um, I want to buy field 39. <clears throat> if you see right there, I got 40% discount on this uh fill one or or let's see that was it says fill one on the game or on the contracts but it's actually plot 39 uh jimmy cardwell i got all i can discount for him i've never had any kind of contracts on these two but this one here is $115,000. Um, what I was wanting to do is buy this, cut these trees down out of here. And I can't remember exactly what I wanted to do with this. I, I think what I'm going to do, uh, probably once I get everything out of it, I'll probably do some crop in it. I may need some more grass fields. I'm not for sure. Uh, but yeah, we got to get the cows established and once we do that, we'll know how much grass we really need. Um, but this right here, Land 5, I bought it um, basically because there's 165000 Uh Something that's coming on here in a little bit, they're going to... Oh yeah, this is... Uh, this one right here is one I need to buy because this one we're going to be cutting the trees from. Our little thing sitting like right here, our tractor. Can I get rid of this? Yeah, you can see our tractor sitting here. I'm pointing this way. And what is that? Can we visit that? We cannot visit that. All right, but anyway, this right here we got to buy so I need to buy it before we buy uh, field 26 down here so let me go ahead and buy this real quick X yes and um, let me get out of here go into here here's our we got 65 there 79 we got this field at 80 now uh, 78 here, 79, 77, 65, 79, uh, 50, 57, and the rest of these not going to have a score yet because they haven't been plowed up. But once you plow them up, it will give you a, uh, a field that you have to take care of. But, uh,. Yeah, as you can see right now, those cables going over there. Let's run over there real quick and show you where I got it attached to. And let's see. There's our uh, oh, our thing that's going to carry the trees. Our boom thing. And we're going up here. It is attached to this tree right here. So some of these we might have to bring over here, but this is going to drag all these trees across the pond and automatically go in. So that's going to help run this sawmill. What is... Is that this where... Oh, it's this thing. Okay. Yeah, I got it to follow me. Uh, let's see. Disable carriage follow mode. And should be a way move 
carriage to yarder, move carriage. That's the way you can do it yourself. I need the cable to come down. Okay, I don't know how to get the uh, cable to come down, but uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, or do I just, uh, I don't know, folks. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to leave that right there. We're going now tab around and show y'all all the equipment. Um, we got this uh, Mack Trucks Anthem and uh, the trailer and a bulldozer back there. And we got two more Mack Trucks here with uh, some supplies. You see a lot of pipes there. And some other things I'll get into probably next episode. We have this big boy right here, 395 next gen. That's going to be going up to that mountain. Here's a bulldozer that was here. We're going to be clearing out this mountain, which uh, I can't look that way. I like the camera how it does like that. Uh, back over that way is the sawmill. And we got this big boy here that's going to be helping. And that's all the stuff there. It's the Mac. That Mac. And I'll explain more on these. But also you want to see. We got a trench digger. We got a mini traco. We got a skid steer. Well, we got another skid steer that's black. With uh, like a post hole digger. No, nope, that's a, a rock pulverizer. But this truck right here, folks. You see it's got a boom on it. The boom does work. We have a crane. We have a uh, pipe carrier. Uh, we also got this guy here that's probably going to be unloading stuff. And there's our pipe layer dozer with a fifth wheel. Here's our truck. And show y'all. I put a fence around, or they put a fence around all of it so nobody will fall off and uh this truck needs to go somewhere but here's oh i didn't finish that did i uh there's some more wood chips right there i don't know if it's full or not i don't think it is but just kind of give y'all uh top view of everything and these stones that i got are rocks uh, yeah, somebody came from down here. I'm going to show y'all here. Most of these are out of the... Whoa, don't get in the grass field too much. Um, we had a little small trailer. We got that trailer now. And we got two... Uh, oh, looking at the guy. Underfur grain carts. I can't remember how much they... Uh, hold, but that's going to be putting the wheat in for when it gets ready. I just made a boo boo. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to have to turn around. But anyway, I've explained everything except for the factories, and I think it's time to go do them. So I'm going to park this right here and keep on tagging around. Uh, we got this in here. It's like a service truck, and then another boom truck, cable. Uh, we got spotlight, uh, mobile spotlight things with uh, generators. Um, this power stroke, a Ford. Is that a Ford? Oh no, I'm in the 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 boom truck. The one sitting beside of it, the Dodge Ram. That, that's my personal truck. I'm just kind of still tabbing through everything I got. Uh, and um, X marks the spot, folks. Um, I pull up the big map, and as you can see right here, this is where we're at. This is the sawmill and, and everything. Here's our yarder that we're doing, uh, the iron furnace. Um, yeah, uh, this area, as you know, I just bought an extra field here. Uh, we're going to be putting a uh, communication tire here. 
and they're gonna be paying me right at um, I think it was 2.5 million to level this whole mountain out and I'm gonna show y'all here real quick get rid of this to that see this orange barrel here we have to take this mountain you know, all this down even with these barrels all away around um, I lost my trail my trail go oh there's the other barrel all the way down all the way around now it might not be quite as level but it's just a general idea uh, how far out we got to go because the guide wires and stuff like that yeah it, it, it's kind of a large area a lot of work uh, that's gonna be the future uh, that's gonna we don't have a loan but we do have a loan remember my uncle we borrowed, borrowed that money from uh, yeah uh, we didn't well we did that and I had it paid back but we're going to do it again uh, that mountain there is going to come down um, next episode I got these trailers here uh, this one is uh, this one's planks and the other one's going to be planks long oh crap I'm underneath it Ooh. Um, and we got factories that we got to go fill. Um, we're probably going to try to get the container thing here situated. All right, let's see. We'll go back to here, but we're not. Uh, here's our timber wolf. Uh, here's the furnace. I put two. Uh, go here. It's iron oil or stones that we can have in these two silos. So the one, I'll show y'all. This in here is only uh, 4,780 with stones, or iron ore, I'm sorry. Uh, that's gonna have stones in it. This is gonna have iron ore. Uh, reason for, you'll see it, here's our uh, furnace. And let me turn my super strength on. We're going to get some forklifts too. But these trucks, as you can see up there, it's filling. I set it here, it'll spawn one here, but after that and the second one will go into the truck automatically. And it looks like 30,000, yeah, 30,999. Uh, we do have another trailer here. Um, I'm keeping that trailer because I have another plan for this uh, iron furnace. We're fixing to put another one up when we get that 2.5 million. We're doing this other job. It's going to be two of them up. That's how we're going to make money. Uh, this here is new to y'all. This is a storage warehouse. Um, like, as you can see, yeah, it's a little laggy here, folks, because all the equipment's sitting around. I am so sorry about that. But you put your stuff in here. As you can see, it's going away. And back here, we load our stuff out. I'm going to show you what we got in here. Uh, metals, 18,849. Planks, 104,000 uh, liters worth. Uh, planks long, prefab walls, wood beams. And uh, we're only using 249,000 liters of space so far. And it's 8 million what this thing tops out. So once we get the roller coaster built, which I'm going to have a thing probably in the next episode or in addition, this one's already 30 minutes long and all y'all have been hearing is me talking. But uh, I'm just trying to catch y'all up on everything because like Tactic Gamer said, what happened to Silver Run Force? Yeah, he didn't say it that way. But here is a Stone Crusher. Where is, oh, I didn't want that. I didn't want that, but here we go. Uh, the Stone Crusher, we got lime, 34,000 liters, well, 35,000 liters of lime in here. And that's where those, that load of stones gonna go. 
uh, before I took it to the iron ore where it comes out, the, the mining part. Uh, I built this, put it in here, and started saving a lot of it. So it's turned into lime. And I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, here's where I was going to build my house. Started working on it. We got this dozer here. It's been doing a lot of pushing, folks. A lot of pushing. We need to clean it up, put some fuel in it, as you can see. Uh, no, I ain't been doing a lot of pushing here. It's this, it's this guy here, so. It's been helping on the cow area over there. And, um, this is the metal. And, uh, yeah, um. Uh, Here's another work truck. This has got a uh, washer on the back of it, I believe. I'm not for sure. I don't know if we can use it or not. I think we can. I don't know. I have to see. A lot of stuff I don't know about. And there's our fuel trailer, uh, roller, and as you can see, uh, if y'all don't mind, let's go ahead and take a look at our factories. I think I got all of the factories except for the paper mill. Uh, what is this? This is the uh, Florin Fantasies. And let me pull it up real quick. Florin Fantasies, uh, Florin House. Is that right? Yeah, I guess I could have looked at this been sooner. I got a little picture thing here I'll pop up. It shows all the stuff that the factories do. And it looks like I got all of them except for a paper factory. This makes big rolls of paper. But yeah, here's four tiles. And this is how much I got. It's letting it build up, folks. I got enough now to do the roller coaster and stuff. And if we go over to here, this is the natural pet comforts. And look at the, the what is these, dog houses? Yeah, dog houses here. And here are the uh, cat trees. And this up here is the bird house. And I don't think none of this stuff here goes to the roller coaster or the, or the boat. I, I just don't see it for the boat. So that's going to be profit. Um, make sure I'm going the right way. I think this is a yeah first two. Uh, this in here is shingles. And look how much I got saved up, folks. And over here is the uh, the art accessories, which is uh, picture frames and. I don't know if I can say that right. E A S E L. It's kind of like the thing that holds a picture, like a three-legged thing. Hey, <laughs> three-legged. And we're going to zoom right over through here without getting slapped in the face. This is a barrel factory. As you can see barrels, buckets, more barrels, and a couple bathtubs for me. So yeah. Um, let's see, what is the next? I, I almost got to memorize. I just don't know where they're at. And here's our cheers. Uh, whatever that thing's called. Uh, kind of like a dresser type deal. And this here is tables. So, cheers, tables, and maybe a china hut deal or something. Look how many I got. That is a lot. And right over here, uh, this is the wood turner. There it is. And uh, we got staircase railings, which the roller coaster needs. Paper grinders and bolts. I don't think. Um. Now I'm looking at this. I'm going to slap it up on the screen. The first stage is wood beams, board, plank, metal, floor tile, and stair casings, which is four steps of that. 
and then we basically got the same thing set we have prefab walls oh chair table shingle barrel and bucket so the pepper grinders I don't see so staircases chairs and tables for sure shingles barrels and buckets and that's on basically all of that so that's, that's where that goes but look what I got so the bowls uh, pepper grinders are all profit and these staircase railings and take one and I'm gonna show y'all where it goes if y'all don't know y'all knew folks you're fixing to find out right down the road here and you probably can't see it because I'm um, yeah right there on your left of this pallet is the roller coaster and once you get it and you take uh, like if you don't have the super strength you're playing on I believe Xbox and PlayStation you ride the roller coaster so many times and it gives you super strength if, if I remember right I think that's where it goes but yeah right here uh, get this set right bring it right here and wham there it goes and we get money for it eleven hundred and forty nine dollars for that um, I guess it's got enough of the floor tiles but it tells you uh, wood beams 3,000 liters missing uh, as required for the next step so I need to bring that down here but we got planks planks long staircase railing metal prefab wall and floor tiles in storage so we'll bring a little extra we're gonna bring it all up here and deliver it to everywhere but uh, wood beams um, I need to bring them up here because it's got about 24 hours uh, before the next step so yeah but that's the roller coaster and to show y'all they're basically working on the next step over here I can't wait to get that finished and let's see what else I want to show y'all go right down here real quick uh, this is the boat and as you can see yeah, that's some metal I got there are 54 pieces left it's not too long 63 hours need wood beam and floor tiles over here and probably some other stuff but this boat it's coming along pretty nicely and I'll be our first boat I have not done anything to it it rolls off of here and it's kind of sails away and disappears but we get money for it um, I have not bought this either I don't think no nope, 125,000 I can buy this uh, I need the paper mill also but paper mill don't do nothing for the roller coaster I don't know about the boat I don't have a picture of it to insert but yeah um, also we got a uh, another piece of machinery we need to buy last episode y'all saw me buying the bulldozer and that's when my game crashed um, here's what I own and there's a lot of stuff in there um, least items download uh, mods and DLCs I should say uh, kind of some of the stuff I got in here I want let me do it this way I go to here and forestry machines and we go on over to here Okay, right, this is going to take a lot of our money. I can see that right now. Uh, this in here is an auto load wood uh, Ponzi. And this in the same way, it auto loads and it's got a crane. We may buy that too. Um, but right now, I do not have these here. Um, I think I'm going to go with the bigger one for now because we need a way. To cut trees and we don't have it uh you can get it with the grapple 
You can get it with the Ponzi uh, scorpion head or whatever you call it, the harvester head. And we can get it with a fast coupler. Um, I think I'm going to get the big one with the uh, this head on it. Which we can always change it out. Uh, beacons, yes. Safety beacon, yes. Windows, I want tinted. I just, I just love that setup. So, 400000 basically going out the door. But, it's going to be worth it. Because our other one did burn before the crash. So, um, I'm buying this for 397750 All right. And as you can see, it says it won, and I don't have the other one. Um, there's something else I was needing, but I don't know. Because see, it brought us down pretty low, but I do want to get this. Uh, probably go with this, because that way we can still use the crane arm if we need to. But all we got to do is move it out of the way, and it auto loads the short ones. And I'm going to be wanting to do some, a lot of 8 meter long logs. I think we get more money for them. But folks, um, I'll take you around to all the factory things here. Uh, come on. Oh, it won't let me do it. Uh, trying to show y'all. Maybe if I get inside. Oh, here's our vehicle. Here's our new machine we got. Start it up. That opens. We got our safety beacon. Which is the green one. Stays on regardless. The other one. Is that there? Do you have any strobes on the side? Don't look like we do. Don't look like we do. Whee! Okay, I gotta quit playing. But anyway, um, take a look inside. Nothing much to it. But uh, yeah, I kind of like it. We're gonna try it. Uh, just got to get a truck freed up. So probably be this. One. All right, let's see here. Well, Untroed low loader. We're going to take our straps off, shut this off, and hop in the bulldozer. Oh, I was going to say, this thing's quiet, but... Um, there we go. And not much to it, you know, just a couple of handles. Forward and reverse, blade up and down, tilt, and we'll get our. Um, nope, not want to raise that. Try to back off here without falling off, you know. Okay, whoa, yeah. Turn that that way a little bit. There we go, folks. We are. <laughs> we're doing it. Now. <clears throat> This is going to be pushing a lot of dirt and stuff, or rocks, I probably should say. Uh, or skid steer is going to be breaking these other pieces of rocks up. Um, also going to have a special mod um, that will let me terraform. Let's, see, let's put the blade down and allow creek fields. Just show you that we can create some fields with us too up here. I uh, don't know if we will be doing that or not. I don't think we will. Although we could make it some grass where we gonna, you know, motor grass and stuff up here. But anyway, folks, uh, I really can't do nothing until I get the trees cut down. Let's uh, go ahead and go to my pickup truck that's up in the mountain. 
I know it showed y'all once, but I, oh, I passed it. This big X right here, you know, the barrels are all the way around it. As you can see right there in front of you, you can see the barrels up there. Um, this is where the we're going to start doing the trees. We may buy. I, I don't know. Um, you know, this is new to me. I've never really been a tree harvester till I come up here to live. So uh, we gotta watch out. Oh crap! I hit my barrel. I'll get it later. You know, tell them which I'm going to. That's why I had them bring uh, gravel up here to kind of put a layer down where we're going and stuff. Oh, scratching my truck up, don't scratch. But yeah, we had a company coming in that was going to do all this. The trucks I bought was from a uh, old communications uh, company that went out of business, so I got the trucks pretty cheap. And um, we might not be keeping all of them, but for right now, we got a Sarah tire to put up. And yeah, so folks, I I just want to say thank to all y'all, especially uh, just hanging around, sticking with me, and the new ones. Whoa! Once I find out that y'all gonna you know hang around with me and and watch my videos, uh, way I usually do it, y'all watch my video, leave a comment. And I will go to your video and watch and leave a comment. And what that does, that boosts yours and mine, uh, you know, out of the rhythm. Like, hey, people's engaging with me and stuff and gets our videos out there. Whoa, crap, I got to slow down with this buggy. But yeah, uh, that's going to be it. I'm going to try to grab me a thumbnail somehow and... Uh, go from there uh, I'm gonna have yeah my truck that I've used with those wagons are right here it's the only truck I got one good thing about it though, you can leave this here and it will still hollow load oh almost hit the fence But I might change this truck out and get a TLX truck. That that truck right there is they're just better and faster. And you can see the lag I got sometimes because of all this uh, equipment stuff I got. So some of it will be going bye bye. Uh, leave down below in the comments uh, what y'all like about it and what you want me to keep and what not keep. And, oh yeah, I need to start selling my wood chips again. Uh, I gotta look to see when the best time to sell them. Alright folks, uh, I will catch y'all in the next episode. And we will, I was going to do it this time around, but I just explained so much and it's about an hour now. Well, it's about 50 minutes in. So I think I need to wrap this up. Editing is one my number one worst thing when it comes to videos, so Alright, that's loaded down, that's planks long. What I like about this you can hook up and carry a second trailer. And the other one is planks. What I probably do is stop by and uh the furnace over there load up some metal which it won't look like if I had to put them on top or something on the back back here but uh, when we come back in the next episode y'all will see me going around to all the factories that uh, planks and planks long oh I need some wood beams too the only thing about it I need a trailer for each piece because he's only auto load one at a time, so that's the bad thing about it. And also, I don't know if I'll 
Sure or not, but in the next episode we need to find out what we're going to keep and what we need to sell. So, Alright. I am going to load up some metal on here and maybe a wood beam or two and to help out on the transport. We'll take that when we take other stuff. So, Anyway, folks, I appreciate y'all watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, please hit the like button, share me with your friends, uh, and leave a comment, folks. I love reading y'all's comments and stuff, and that's how I engage with y'all on me watching y'all's videos, too. Uh, it just helps me keep up with it better. But anyway, I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day. I'll see you in the next Arm Sim.